All right, welcome back. So you've created your Scratch account and we've learned how the Scratch dashboard on the whole screen here is organized. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you how the Scratch blocks work and we're going to program this little cat on the screen to do various things. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a pretty good idea of how Scratch blocks work so that later in the course, we'll go on to create more complicated things like apps and games. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. So. Go ahead and select this sprite here if it's not selected already, and then go to the events section, which is this yellow section here in the code, and then click on this when flag clicked block and drag it all the way to the empty space. So this is how we will program by dragging various blocks here from the left hand side all the way to the empty space where our code is going to be for this sprite. Then. I want you to go to the sensing section, which is this light blue section, and drag the ask what's your name and wait, and snap it right below the when flag clicked. So notice that various code blocks will fit into one another, like puzzle or Lego pieces. Then I want you to go to the looks section, which is this purple section, and drag this say hello for two seconds block and snap it right below. So this will be our first script, which says the following. When the green flag is clicked, the cat will ask for our name and then wait. And after we've completed our name, the cat will say hello for two seconds. So this is how code works. These code blocks are executed one after another. So let me show you. I'm going to click on the green flag and the cat's going to do exactly what the script is going to say. So when the flag clicked, the cat will ask for my name. I'm going to type in my name here. I'm going to say Daniel, and then I'm going to hit enter. And then the cat will say hello for two seconds. So the cat says hello. And after two seconds, the bubble disappears. All right. So this was our first script. Let's make the cat do something a little bit smarter this time. So let's go to sensing here, this light blue section and drag this rounded answer block and watch where I'm putting it. I'm putting it right where hello is. See how hello lit up? That basically is a signal that you can snap in this answer block where hello is. So snap it like I do. So the cat, instead of saying hello, it's going to say the answer, whatever I type here, back to me. So if I click on the green flag now, the cat will ask for my name and wait. I'm going to type in my name, Daniel, and watch what a cat does. It said Daniel back to me. Right, so at this point, we program the cat to echo back whatever we type at its question. What's your name? Let's make the cat do a proper greeting by saying hello, Daniel, instead of saying basically Daniel back to me. So go to this operators green section and pull in the join block. Notice that this is also a rounded block. So pull it into the empty space. So I'm going to take the answer from the say block and I'm going to snap it here at the second hole of the join block. And in the first hole of the join block, I'm going to say hello. And then I'm going to put in a comma here. Then I'm going to take this whole green block and I'm going to snap it where hello is. So at this time, the cat will do something a little bit differently. It will still ask for my name and wait. And after I'm done typing, instead of seeing the answer back to me, it will join hello comma answer and then say that back to me for two seconds. Let me show you. So I'm going to click on the flag. The cat asks for my name. I'm going to type it back, Daniel. And after I hit enter, the cat will say hello comma Daniel. All right, so we program the cat to do a proper greeting depending on our name. The cat is now polite enough to say hello to our name back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag these two blocks away from the when flag clicked so that when the flag is clicked, these two blocks will not get executed anymore. And I'm going to make this cat move a bit on the screen. So I'm going to go to this top motion section and I'm going to drag in the move 10 steps block and snap it below the when flag clicked. So now when I click the green flag, the cat will move 10 steps in its natural direction, which is right in this case. So let me click the flag and watch the cat very closely. Click. So notice that the cat moved slightly to the right a little bit. 
If I click on the green flag again, the cat will move again. So I'm going to click it a bunch of times and you see that the cat is still moving. Now I'm going to play around with the cat a little bit. I'm going to add some rotation to the cat as well. I'm going to drag in this turn right 15 degrees and I'm going to snap it below the move block. And I'm going to change the number of steps it moves to the right. Instead of 10, I'm going to do 30. So now when the flag is clicked, the cat will move 30 steps in its direction and then it will turn right by 15 degrees. Now, if you don't know what degrees are, we're going to learn everything about them later on in the course. All right, so don't worry. 15 degrees means slightly to the right. Okay, so now when I click the green flag, the cat will move a bit and it will turn a bit. So you see, it moved to the right and then it turned to the right a little bit. And if I click the flag a bunch of times, you see that the cat is turning around in circles. Now I'm going to do something pretty interesting. Instead of me clicking the flag a bunch of times and the cat rotating a little bit at every one of my clicks, I'm going to make the cat do these things a number of times on its own. Watch what I'm doing. So I'm going to go to control this orange section over here and I'm going to pull in the repeat 10 block and watch how I'm dragging it. I'm going to drag it right here to wrap around these two blue blocks. So if you're reading the script, it does exactly what it says. When the flag is clicked, these two blue blocks will be repeated 10 times. So if I click on the green flag now, watch what, I, what the cat does. See, it turns around in circles on its own. And the computer is fast enough so that the cat seems to be in motion. Now, of course, you can play around with these values. Instead of 10 times, you can do 20 times. And what you'll end up with is more rotation. So notice that the cat will listen to what the script is saying. If you say repeat 20, the cat will repeat 20 times. If you say it a million times, the cat will simply rotate in circles a million times. You can even go as far as, notice what I'm doing. I'm dragging these two blocks outside. I'm going to put this repeat block right where it came from. So I'm going to make it disappear. And instead, I'm going to pull in this forever block and I'm going to snap it right below when flag clicked. And I'm going to pull these two blue blocks inside the forever block. So you probably have a good intuition of what this does. When the flag is clicked, the cat will rotate in circles endlessly. So if I click on the flag, the cat just rotates around in circles. This is so nice. All right, now let me show you another trick. Go to the costume section right over here, the second tab over here, and notice that this cat has two costumes. So it has costume one and costume two. If I switch between these two costumes fast enough, you'll get the impression that the cat actually walks. So I'm going to go back to the code, to this purple look section, and I'm going to pull in this very small next costume block and I'm going to pull it right below the blue blocks inside the forever loop. So in the forever loop, we are moving 30 steps forward. We're turning 15 degrees to the right and we're switching to the next costume. Because the computer is so fast, these blocks will execute very quickly and we'll have the impression that the cat actually walks. So I'm going to click the green flag and show you how this works. So click. And you see that besides walking in circles, the cat actually does appear to be walking, which is awesome. If you pay very close attention to this little sprite over here, the costumes are being switched so, so, so fast by the computer. And the impression is that the cat is animating its walk. So I'm going to stop this little script. All right. Let's do something else now. So right now, when we run this program, when we click on the green flag, the cat never stops running around in circles. Let's make it controllable so that when we press space, the cat will stop and say hello to us. So here's how I'm going to go about doing it. I'm going to go to this orange control section and I'm going to pull in this if then else block. And I'm going to put it into the open space for now. Notice that this block has a diamond shaped hole in it. This will be the condition which we will fill in by going to the sensing light blue section. And I'm going to drag this diamond shaped 
key space pressed and I'm going to snap it into the diamond shaped hole here. So what this block does is if the key space is pressed, then it's going to execute whatever code we put here into this big hole. Otherwise, it's going to execute the other bit of code that we put in into the other hole. So when the key space pressed, we want the cat to say hello. So we will go to looks and we'll drag in the say hello and snap it inside the big hole here. Otherwise, the cat will still continue to run around in circles, which means we're going to put these three blocks inside the else section in this block. So notice that this block has gotten quite big. Now, I'm going to snap this if then else block inside the forever loop. So now the script has gotten a little bit complicated. Now when the flag is clicked, forever, the cat is going to check. Is the key space pressed? If so, then it will say hello and it will not do anything. Otherwise, it will continue to move 30 steps, turn a bit to the right, and switch to the next costume. So let's test it. Click on the green flag, and because we're not pressing anything, the cat will still carry on going around in circles because the key space is not pressed. But notice what happens when I press the space bar. So three, two, one, space. So when I hold on and press the space bar, the cat stops in its running around in circles and stops to say hello. But when I lift my finger off the space bar, watch what happens. The cat will continue to walk around in circles. This may not be exactly what we want. If we press the space bar, I'd like the cat to stop completely, not continue running around in circles like crazy when I lift my finger off the space bar. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go to the control section, this orange section, and I'm going to pull in stop, and I'm going to snap it right below the say hello. And from the drop down, I'm going to select this script. So if the spacebar is pressed, then the cat will not move, it will say hello, and it will stop this script. So the script will not execute anymore. So let me go ahead and test this. So I'm going to go to click the green flag. The cat is spinning around in circles like crazy. And now I'm going to simply tap the spacebar and not hold it. So three, two, one. Go. So now the cat has fully stopped because this little yellow block, the stop this script, has executed, which stopped this whole complicated script altogether. All right, so we've programmed the cat to do a lot of things in this video. I'm really proud of you of what we've done in just 10 minutes. Join me in the next video where I'm going to teach you some more tricks that we're going to use throughout the rest of this course.